You see how the red water floats to the top of the clear water? Why do you think that is? There's nothing in the water but food coloring. But the red water and the clear water are different in another way. Do you know how they're different? Well, since you can't feel the water, I'm going to tell you. The red water is warm and the clear water is cold. And warm water floats on top of cold water. Randy M. of Mansfield, Texas, sent us this phenom. Here's a way you can test it out for yourself. Okay, first you want to take a bottle and fill it with cold water. Then you want to take another bottle and fill it with very warm water and add some food color. Now you want to take an index card and put it on top of the bottle with cold water. Okay, then slowly flip over the cold water bottle while holding the index card in place and put it on top of the warm water bottle. Now carefully, carefully remove the index card so that the spots are aligned and watch in amazement. See, it's starting to go up. The reason that warm water floats and cold water sinks is because that warm water is less dense than cold water. Density is something that makes things float. So, warm water can actually float on cold water. To test it out, I'm going to try this with cold clear water and cold red water instead of warm red water. See, the colors mixed less. So now I know that the red water floated to the top of the clear water because it was warmer and not because it was colored red. Try this at home with two bottles of warm water. Do you think they'll mix the same way? Test it out and send your discoveries to Zoom. Got a phenom to present? A wicked sweet experiment. Send an email. I like the yeah, that'll fly. Email. Open up the mind's eye. Zoom back. Send it to Zoom. To whom? TVFK.